Over the next couple of lessons, we're gonna learn how we can do this. We can swipe on an entry in our list of trips, which will bring up a confirmation on whether or not we want to delete it. So we're gonna start in this lesson by talking about gestures, specifically swipe gestures like this. So I'm here on our trips view, which is a vertical list type view, if you recall, with our list of trips in it. Now for any vertical list view, we've got this vertical list item entry inside. And when you select that within the properties editor, you'll see here we've got leading swipe actions and trailing swipe actions. So I can hit, for example, this leading swipe action. You can see here that's gonna add an icon over on the left side of the entry and also give me some options for customizing this. I can choose just to have a label instead of an icon. I can of course change things like the color and the background color of the icon but I'm just gonna leave this one as it is. And because this is a leading swipe action on the left-hand side, what this means is that if I swipe from left to right, then this button will appear. And there's kind of two options that we have here with swiping. Either if we just swipe it a little bit, then the icon will sort of stay visible unless I swipe backwards. Or what I can do is I can do what we call a full swipe action. And this can actually trigger a workflow, which we're gonna set up in a minute. And I can add exactly the same kind of thing on the other side. So let's say instead of deleting, this was gonna be like an edit type of action. So I hit save. So we got an edit action on the right, a delete action on the left. And so if I swipe from left to right, then I see the delete icon. And if I swipe from right to left, then I have the edit icon. And I can attach a workflow to either of these. And what we can also do is add more than one swipe action, as we call it. So let's say I want another one over here on the left-hand side. I can hit this little plus icon here, or I can just hit the plus icon within the properties editor. And let's say, just for demonstration purposes, this is gonna be another edit action. So I'll hit save. And what this will mean is that when I swipe, we can see two actions instead of one. And I can configure workflows for both of these. So let's say that this edit icon, just for the sake of argument, is going to open up that trip details view. So we'll go to view trip details and just send the current items trip. This is the same thing as we had set up for when we tap on a trip in this list, we open up that trip details view. And then for the delete action, we can add a workflow on that one as well. And this is gonna be a new action, which we haven't seen before, which is under data, delete a thing. Delete a thing. And the thing that we're gonna delete is gonna be the current items trip. And so let's try it with this first one in the list. I'm gonna swipe it just a little bit to expose the buttons. If I hit the edit icon, then the trip details appears. And if I hit the delete, icon, then that trip is deleted. Now I wanna draw your attention to the fact that what I can also do here is if I swipe all the way, all the way across, that that trip was deleted. Look at the new trip, this the one down the bottom that says a new trip. I'm just gonna swipe here all the way with my finger and what actually happened there was that trip was deleted. And that is what we call a full swipe action and you can enable full swipe actions by having this checkbox ticked. And what that will do is that when the user does that full swipe, it will execute the workflow that is attached to the first swipe action. The first swipe action in our case is this swipe action A, okay? So it's the first one in the list of swipe actions that one might have configured. But now because this swipe action is quite easy to do, it's fairly easy in our app for a user to accidentally just delete a whole trip, which we don't really want them to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a confirmation step where they have to explicitly confirm, yes, I do want to delete this trip. We're gonna set that up in the next lesson.